Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Yo Venice Show. I'm Juliette Lamar, and in the news this week, the lifeguards on the beach respond to a beach dolphin on our shores, and will the metro be free to all residents in the future? Mm, we have the details, so stay tuned. But first, a message from our sponsor, Santa Monica College, with more than 90 fields of study, is a leader among California's community colleges in transferring students. There's a seat for you at Santa Monica College, so find your classes today. Our top story, who else has noticed that traffic is returning to pre-pandemic levels? I sure have. We have the full story right here and we'll be right back with your local news after this. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. Last week, lifeguards responded to a call regarding a beached dolphin on our shores. Lifeguards worked alongside Marine Animal Rescue to get the beached dolphin back into the water safely. Marine Animal Rescue determined that the dolphin was sick and in need of medical attention and decided to try and transport the animal to their local treatment facility. Unfortunately, the sick dolphin did not successfully make it to treatment and passed away. All right, what if public transportation in Los Angeles was completely free? Would you take the train more often? Well, a fareless riding system could be a reality in the future. For our leaders are definitely discussing this. The Metro Board of Directors are exploring the feasibility of a completely fareless system. Starting January 2022, a pilot program is set to be launched that would allow low-income and K-12 students to ride public transit at no cost. The program would run for 18 months and determine how the Metro could operate within a fareless system. If LA Metro decides to eventually offer riders no-cost options, this would be the very first system in the world to be entirely fearless. That's all the news that we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliet Lamar and you take care.